You might remember a couple of weeks ago, we celebrated Tenoria's birthday on Sunrise. Well, right. today things are a little different because it's my birthday. Yay! So Tenoria got to figure out what she wanted for her birthday, and so did I. And Tenoria knows some of my favorite foods, so what are we yes. having? We are going to do a lot of your favorite things today. <laughs> Nachos, mm. brunch, mm. and fried eggs. Uh, All in one day. Sold. Tenoria, you're the best birthday gift ever. And these are homemade tortilla chips, yes. by the way. So I just dropped these in a little bit of hot oil, took them out, salted them. I like white corn chips, okay. so I used white corn instead of yellow corn. So I'm going to stick some of these on a cookie sheet. I just line this cookie sheet with foil so that my pan is not all gross when I have to clean it later. And you added a little salt, too? Yes, a little bit of salt. You could totally add lime zest Ooh, at yeah. the end okay. or lime juice if you want. All right, so since it's your birthday, you get the honors of the toppings. Well, you know when I choose toppings, it's all of the above. I can never decide. Right. So I'm going to choose all of these, and you awesome. picked out some good ones to choose from, too, right? Yeah, so I've got some spicy chorizo that I cooked off a little bit. Um, just browned it, broke it up in the pan, and that's going to be our protein for our nachos. And chorizo can be great for breakfast mm. or for... Um, a lunch or a dinner. I really like chorizo paired with eggs. Is that enough or should I put a little more? What do you think? Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's my birthday. It's your birthday. It's my birthday. Okay, that's Awesome. And then we've got some black beans because what's nachos without black mm -hmm. beans, right? So I just took these out of the can, rinsed them, put in a little bit of chili powder and cumin um, just to kind of match with the chorizo. Okay. And then a little bit of red onion. I don't like a lot of red onion because I don't want that bite. But if you think about it, you've got red onion usually in salsa and avocado. Right. So this is going to kind of pair with the other toppings that we have. Okay. Tomatoes. And some tomato. Once again, kind of like the salsa. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a deconstructed guacamole and salsa by the time we're all done. Yum. It smells good already. We haven't even cooked it yet. It smells amazing. And we've got some chihuahua cheese, which is actually a Mexican-style cheese. Please my hands. Go for okay. it. This is excellent for melting. Perfect. So if you're not doing a queso, you want to do a chihuahua because it's going to melt a lot better than a cheddar or a Monterey Jack. All right, so we've got them all loaded up. What is next? We've got to go in the oven on broil like two minutes. Right. You kind of got to babysit it to make sure you don't burn it. All right. They are gooey and melty. Mm, those look good. But we're not done, right? No, we still got stuff to load on these babies. Never enough toppings, in Never. my opinion. All right, so what do we have here for toppings? All right, so I've got some avocado that's been sitting in some lime juice mm. so it doesn't brown. Okay, I'll do that. Got some queso fresco. I look at this, I might get in trouble saying this, but I think this is like Spanish feta. Okay. It has the same texture. Not necessarily the same flavor, but, but it's cheese and it's nachos, so you know we're gonna put it on there. Never have enough cheese on nachos. <laughs> we're gonna call these Naomi's nachos. Okay, this is for my birthday. That's how the recipe okay. is gonna go. Perfect. Absolutely. And while you do avocado, I'm gonna add another one of your favorites. <gasps> A fried egg. Fried egg. So I cannot do that myself, and thank you, Tenoria, for frying <laughs> eggs for me. <laughs> Now, what's great about adding a fried egg to these nachos is because we don't have, like, a runny cheese like a queso, that egg yolk is going to give us that Ooh, same effect. Kind of sauciness. Yeah. All right. So, some sour cream. Sour cream. Let's do a dollop. Yeah. Perfect. A dollop. She knows her way around the nacho. I do. You know, um, <laughs> it's kind of my specialty as far as eating them, not making them, and that's why Tony is here. And I also happen to love cilantro. One of my favorites. Now, what's fun about this is you could totally do this as a brunch. If someone wants oh, yeah. to throw you a birthday party, oh. hmm. you could totally do this. Have people over, just have all your toppings, and everyone make their own nachos Yum. on a smaller cookie sheet. All right, let's lime it up. And I love lime on yeah. just about everything. Beautiful. Just a little extra zest at the end. Okay, I can't wait any longer. Let's do it. All right. No plates. It's your birthday. We can pretend like you're a candle. All right. Yummy. I'm getting in here. Oh, look at the cheese. Yum, yum, yum. I'm going to get everything on it. Mmm. Happy birthday. Thank you. Best birthday ever.
And they really were that good. They look yummy. The fried egg is interesting. It's really good on top. I do love fried eggs on top of mm -hmm. pretty much anything like a burger, but on nachos, they're awesome because those chips are so crunchy. Oh, they look so good. I love how Tenori is like, you know, you just make them yourself. I'm so like, sweet. I can never do that. Yeah, but no. Tenoria does it for me, and I really appreciate <laughs> it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you, birthday. Tenoria. Thank you very much, Kelly. It's been a great birthday weekend so far. We had gorgeous weather yesterday and more to come. Yes, absolutely.